hi guys you're welcome to my youtube channel my name is Noma. so in today's tutorial i'll be using this ankara fabric to make this maxi ball dress so before we go right into the video please if you've not subscribed to this channel do well to subscribe this to this channel okay and join this beautiful family give this video a thumbs up as well it helps the video grow so right now we have to do some calculations before starting our drafting so the radius for our half circle is 3.14 this dress and a half circle flare so it's 3.14 so 3.14 will be dividing our waist by that our waist is 27 inches plus 11 inches because this has to have a little bit of gathers at the waist 27 inches plus 11 inches for gathers plus 2 inches for the zipper is 40 inches so we are dividing the 40 inches by our 3.14 which is 12.75 so our radius is 12.75 now our gant length is 41 inches we need to determine the fold of this gown of this fabric so it's 41 inches that's our gown length we minus half inches 12 inches from it rather 12 inches is our half length the upper bodies of this dress it came out gave us 29 inches so 29 inches plus 12.75 which is our radius plus 1.5 for hemming this dress it gave us for 3.25 so we approximated that 43.5 so guys if you don't really understand please just watch again go back and listen again so that you understand everything in details so now we're going to be folding our fabric by 43.5 okay so we just want to determine our fold here so when you're doing that just take your tape like so okay we want to fold it into two by 43.5 so that's what i'm just doing right here trying to get my 43.5 inches so this is it guys because it's actually very long so it's actually longer than my table so my fold started from that point so i'm just pushing it back so i folded it once by 43.5 so now i'm going to be taking the fabric at the pointed end there and fold it in the form of a triangle you can see how i'm taking my fold <coughs> folding it in the form of a triangle so yeah that is what we have there so now I'm just going to take in my chalk and my scissors so now all the measurements want to I want to start the measurement from that pointed end there so I'll be taking my radius first okay our radius is 12.75 so I'll be taking it like so round 12.75 from that pointed end of the fabric so just take it round whatever your radius is just take it round guys if you don't understand the calculation please watch again for better understanding so yeah i just drew it round took it round 12.75 round like so so now like i said earlier that was what helped us to determine the fold of this fabric now we're going to be taking the length of this dress so i'm just going to be shifting it up like so so that you can see the full length so now i'm going to be minusing my half length for me my half length is 12 inches that's the shoulder to the waist part of this dress is 12 inches so i'm going to be taking that away i'm placing my 12 inches on that line that our radius started from just minus it like so so you now take your actual gown length from that point so my gown length is 41 so from that point i'll just take my tape like so and take 41 and i'll add 1.5 inches for my hemming allowance so that's what i just did there okay so that measurement we took earlier helped us to determine the length of the fold so that your fabric will not be short okay so you can see where it got to at this shorter part so i've taken the, the full length of my dress still maintaining that 12 inches at the waist area then taking my 41.5 plus my 41 inches rather 
plus 1.5 for my remaining allowance. So just take that point and just merge it together, join the lines together, then I can cut out my I can cut out my flare, my half circle flare. So I'm just cutting this out. You can see me do here. So I actually wanted to cut out this part. Okay, you can see that there is a part unfold and one part opened. So here. I'm just going to be cutting it on that open part please do not cut your folded part okay that folded part is your center front and the opening is your back okay so that's your zipper area so now I'm done cutting this this is what we have after cutting so this is what we have here I'm just chucking the back part of this because the Ankara is not really revealing the front and the back. So in order for me not to make any mistake, I just chuck it. That's what I do. So this is a flare. That's my zipper allowance for my back. Okay. So I just cut out my half length plus one inches for joining allowance. Then my bust measurements divided by four so i just cut it out and added two inches for my sewing allowance so i have this 12.1 that is 13 inches so now i'll be starting all my measurements from the shoulder so i just went ahead to fold my zipper allowance inside in order not to confuse you guys so we have both front and back line at the same folded at the same place so now I'll be starting my measurement from that point so my shoulder measurement is 18 in my shoulder measurement is so I'm taking my shoulder measurement divided by 2 and I'll be placing it there 12 inches divided by 2 and half inches for my seam allowance then I came down by one inch just to create my shoulder slope and two in 2.5 inches at the neckline so from that point I'll be taking my ample measurement so I took six inches there so here I'll be coming taking my shoulder measurement also at my chest area just to have a straight line from my shoulder to my chest area so just roll it like so guys i don't know if this chalk is visible enough but yeah we'll move so from i've taken my armhole measurement so from that point i'll be taking my shoulder I'll be taking my shoulder allowance, okay, half inches there. So I just roll the straight line back to the neck area there. Please, it's very important. So from that point, I'll be measuring my the midpoint of my armhole, then coming in by half an inch. This is for my front armhole. I always come in by half an inch at the armhole area there, at the midpoint there, then connect it back to your armhole so from that point come out by one inch if you do not have an armhole curve just to have this accurate curve there then to help it to just guide you okay so i connected it back to the half inches i have there so now i'm taking my bust measurement 
divided by four and two inches for my allowance at the horse area so i'll go down to the waist my waist measurement divided by four and two inches as well for my allowance So I'll be coming up by one inch at the sides. If you notice on, on this channel, I love doing this. It helps the waist sit well so that the sides won't be dropping. Just connect from the midpoint of your fabric back to meet that one inch. So now I'm going to be cutting it out like so. That is just my me cutting out my um, shoulder allowance okay not the neckline please so I'll be cutting out the back arm bow first I'll be following this initial straight line which we have there for the back no come because this you know I'm cutting out the front and the back together so to avoid cutting out the front and back arm bow I have to cut out the back and hole first. Then once I'm done with that, I can remove the front. I can remove the back and cut out the front and hole. So that's what I just that's what I'm just doing here. I remove the back and simply cutting out the back and hole. So now there we have our front and our back dress so now I've gone ahead to bring out the back part as in the zipper allowance so I'll be taking my neck depth here I'm taking three inches for my neck width rather for my neck width I'm taking three inches for my neck depth for the front and one inch for my neck depth for the back this is three inches for my neck depth for the front then one inch for my neck depth for the back but the width for the front and the back remains the same so i'll be cutting out the neck first the back neck first before cutting out the front so i've cut out the back then i'll remove the back then cut out the front so then we have for the front and the back now for the back we have to our back is always shorter than the front a bit so the one inch i took out from the sides i'm also going to be taking it out at the midpoint of the back okay just rule that to meet the one inch which we took out for the sides so the back will be straight okay the back is always shorter than the front so to uh, to avoid it dropping at the back you know you see some dresses the back half length is just dropping down it's because you do not actually remove this one inch so at the midpoint i'm coming in by half an inch so i'll connect it back to the neckline this helps to el eliminate any bulge you have at your back your zipper area so it will not be bulging out So I'm going ahead to remove that. So now I remove the front because I want to do a little bit of... Um, I want to have a little bit of design at the back. So I'm going to be measuring... Let me just bring the camera closer so that you guys can see what I'm actually doing. 
So yeah. From this midpoint, I'm going to be removing my one inch hook for the zipper at the top there. Okay, I removed it at the top there because for me to do this, my zipper is not going to be getting up again, so I have to remove it there. So I'll just rule a straight line so that it will help me as a guide so that I'll know where my zipper should be stopping. Okay. Because for this style, I won't be I won't be leaving that zipper up there. So now, from that line, I measured. So from that line, I just measured like about one inch to one point five inches. Then I'm going to rule a curved line to meet that point up there, leaving half an inch at the neck area. You can see what I'm doing there. So just a curved line so if you want yours to be wider you can go and measure as wide as three inches four inches whatever you want okay but i do not want my back to be so open so i just use about one inch or 1.5 so just cut it out like so and once i get to the pipe part i want it to stop i just cut it out straight you can come down from your neck depth maybe about five inches i think i use about five inches here so now this is what we have when you open it up so we have this beautiful design at the back okay so our zipper will stop like so and there will be a button on top there okay so now we have our front and our back ready so i'll just go ahead to cut out the sleeve so i folded the fabric for the sleeve into two like so and i'll be folding again into four i want to cut out the front the two sleeves together okay i want to cut out the two sleeves together so that's why it's unfold by four so now you just determine the height for your sleeve the length of your sleeve then once you determine the length for your sleeve because this sleeve is going to be having gathers at the top okay and it's also going to be having an elastic band an elastic at the wrist at the um okay so for that i'm going to be measuring the normal length of my sleeve then also coming up again i think about like now okay i've rolled out my starting point so i came down by about five inches there i rolled it again you can see what i have there you can see what i have there so from that point now i'm going to my cap's height is going to be very high because i want to have pleats i want to have gathers at the shoulder area of my sleeve so i'm going to be connecting it back to you can see what we have there i just came down by four inches so my cap's height is about five inches or there about so you can make yours higher depending on how full you want your gathers at your shoulder to be so after i get to that point then i'll just measure the midpoint then i meet it come down by about half to one inch there so that i'll have this inverted s so this sleeve i just just a random i just run through this sleeve okay it's not actually a detailed sleeve tutorial so i just ran through this okay so i'm just cutting this out like so so you can see what we have here so normally I'm having an elastic 
at the down area of my sleeve so because of that i'm not going to be cutting it i'll just leave it like so just cut out the length of my sleeve and that's it so i've gone ahead now to cut out the linings for all my pieces for the upper part the down part as well so now we're going to go straight to the sewing okay so my lining is shorter than my main fabric by two inches so i'm just going to be putting gum stay at the neckline of the the upper part okay so let me quickly do that so now i have my hard net here i'm going to be gathering this hard net inside my lining okay to enable this dress to stand properly so now i'll be having two layers of nets inside my lining so one will be from the waist to the length of the lining but it will be shorter than the lining by about two inches because i will not be putting it placing it directly on the waist of this lining because i don't want any bulge at my waist area so and it will be shorter than it by one inch also at the down part so it will be shorter than the lining by about two inches the first layer of the net then the second layer of the net will be starting from the midpoint of the lining okay and it will be shorter than the lining by about one inch so this one is for my full net this measurement i'm taking here is for my full net it's about yeah it's for my full length then the half length will be from the midpoint of the lining downwards i hope you guys understand so i've gone ahead to cut out my lining for the full length and the half length okay so my net rather not my lining i've gone ahead to cut out my net so now i just went ahead to attach my gum stay on the neckline of my upper part so now i'll start sewing this together So I'll be bringing my lining like so, right side facing, then I'll take to the sewing machine and I'll stitch it uh, with half an inch round. I'll stitch it right side facing and I'll stitch it down by half an inch on the sides as well. I'll also use half an inch to stitch it down so that it will be neat inside. So once I'm done with that, I'll bring the back as well. Then I'll, I went ahead to create a tiny loop for my button at the back. You can see what we have here. So I'll just simply fold this loop into two so i'll fold this into two and i'll place it like so inside the fabric please then place my lining on top so that it will be in between my lining and my main fabric So yeah, okay, this is what we have here. So I'll stitch the neck first, then continue at the opening we have at the back, just like so, then the sides as well. So that is what I'll just take to the sewing machine now, 
and do that. So let me quickly go do that and come back to show you guys. So I've gone ahead to join this. You can see what we have here. I also went ahead to join it at the shoulder area. You can see what we have here. I also went ahead to join it at both sides. You can see what we have. Okay, so this is what we have now for the upper bodies. So, so this is what we have. This is the zip area and this is the back. So now I'm going to be bringing the down parts and I'll be joining it, attaching it to the upper part without the lining for now. So I'll repeat, I'll be making the garters and I'll just attach it to the down parts. So while I join that, I will just bring back my lining, okay, to show you guys how I'm going to be attaching this net. I'll just gather this, the two lengths, then I'll gather one from the waist area, then gather the other one from the half of the lining, from half of the lining downwards, okay. But I will not be placing the full one at exactly on the waist. Okay, I'll be coming down by about one inch and placing it so that I will not have bulge at my waist. So that's for the long one. Then for the back, I will just measure half of what I have so I'll just connect that together so that line that's where I'm going to be gathering the shorter net on so let me quickly take to the sewing machine and do that and show you guys. So I've gone ahead to attach my net. You can see what we have. The shorter one and the long one. So this is what we have. So now I'll be bringing my main bodies. I left one inch on top, like you can see. So I've attached the the down part of the main fabric also to the dress, to the upper part of the dress. So now I'm just going to be bringing my lining, like so, just arranging my dress properly. Then I'll be using my lining to turn this dress. Okay, so that the rough edges will be hidden in between the lining and the main fabric. So I'll look for the midpoint of this dress and also for the midpoint on my lining as well. Then I'll be bringing it like so, the midpoint of my lining as well. That's what I'm just locating here. So this is the midpoint and the midpoint of my dress. Then I'll be placing the right side of the lining on the wrong side of the upper parts okay the right side of my lining to the wrong side of my upper part then placing the mid points together like so then i'll stitch it down so it will be able to turn the rough edges hide the rough edges in between So this is what we have, we'll be having. So let me quickly do that. So guys, I've gone ahead to do that. This is what we have. I also went ahead to join the zipper area and also fix my zipper. 
you can see what we have here so I'm just trying to open up the zip so I'll just turn it inside out guys this is really big so you can see how neat the inside is you can see you're not seeing any any rough edge there so that is what we have for our dress so i've gone ahead as well to hem the lower part of this dress so i'm just going to be flipping it outside again then we'll have to connect our sleeve So these are the sleeves. I've gone ahead to add the elastic at the down part of the sleeve. You can see what we have here. So now I'm just going to be fixing it to my dress. And that will be all for this tutorial. So guys, this is our dress. You can see how beautiful it is. It's a maxi dress from 8 years old. Is a maxi dress so this dress my mannequin cannot fit into this dress it's actually bigger than my mannequin so that's why I said to show you guys the finish look like so okay it's really beautiful guys so please try this and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel like this video okay share the video as well and also turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Bye. Thanks.